And we are joined here at Big 12 Media Days by WVU Athletic Director Shane Lyons, who also wears the hat of the chairman of the Football Oversight Committee, which is a very important group that oversees, obviously, as it says, some significant topics. So let's jump into a couple uh, that are on your biggest agenda right now. One of those is, in game play here this year, the headset rule is going to change. You might think, well, what's, what's the big deal? It's a significant rule, isn't it? It is significant. And the committee has been working on it for over a year, Tony. And, you know, I'm coming in kind of now as the chairman as of July 1 on, on the group. And, you know, what we're trying to do is tweak it. And, and the headset rules for purposes of who are the accountable coaches on game day, on the sidelines, who's directing our student athletes. You know, we've seen a proliferation of number of individuals associated with the game of football. And now this is a mechanism to try to control that a little bit on game days from the, the coach's booth to the sidelines, you know, what's happening in each and every game. So what was the maximum number you heard of people having headsets? Was it, it's a big number? Well, it, it was a huge number. You know, now to, you know, to not get in the weeds with it, we, we have it down to 20. Um, I would say that in some instances it was probably double that. You know, I think you're looking at probably 35 to 40 uh, individuals on headsets, and the question was what, they, what were they doing, what are they allowed to do, not allowed to do, and this was just a mechanism to try to control it some. Another topic that you guys are into, the recruiting calendar. We saw a significant change this past season and that we had an early signing period in football for the very first time. Basketball's had it for years now. What was the reaction among coaches and among administrators of how it went and what needs to be changed? Well, I think you're always going to have those in favor and those are not in favor. All in all, I think it, it went well. You know, talking to Coach Holgerson, you know, all in all, he was in favor of it. There's some stuff that we have to do and tweak it as we move forward. But, you know, the, the thing that I want to do as committee chair is, you know, it, it's not the committee and the coaches. It's we're in this together and communication is the key, you know, working with the AFCA to say what's best for college football. You know, it, this is an important game to all of us and, and how do we continue to make it better is, is the key to that. And so we'll work very closely with the AFCA and what they're thinking, the calendar and, and the coaches groups and, and figure it all out. In short, here to stay, but there's going to be tweaks. Yeah, here to stay, but there'll be tweaks as, as we move along, absolutely. One of the things that you're guaranteed of in sport is injuries, especially in football. And we've got a whole different topic that's uh, germinating in front of us, and that is uh, sports betting happens this coming season, and with it comes the desire or the request among everyone involved for more detailed information in regard to injuries. What's the Oversight Committee's opinion, and how do you see that happening? Well, they initially started talking about it in their, their last meeting in June before, again, my, my time became in, in July. But, you know, right now it's bigger than a football issue, and that's what we said as a group. So we've asked the NCAA to take a look at it. You know, it's a, it's a basketball issue. It's a baseball issue. It's a number of sports. So we've asked them to look at it. What you have is a lot of people are saying, well, why can't you do the, the NFL policy? Well, first of all, our student athletes are not employees. So you have some HIPAA rules. You have some FERPA rules. So we've asked the NCAA to take it back to their legal counsel, look at it. Uh, we possibly will have a call before the start of the season to say, are we going to have some kind of consistent reporting mechanism? Um, right now we don't, and it would be like we've, we've done in the past. It's just, is, is something consistency better than what we currently have? And, and that's what we're going to look at before the start of the season. It'll be a challenge because obviously coaches do not want to let information out, so it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. One last topic. Football safety. Uh, Commissioner Bowlesby uh, talked about uh, new helmets that are going to be used. Uh, approximately 12 to 15 different players on a team will be using a different type of helmet. What's the latest on safety issues? You know, it's always going to be on the forefront. Um, of course, the last several years, concussions have been a very big topic among uh, the media and, and just the health and well-being of our student athletes. So we'll continue to, to look at that, what's the best. And again, you have playing rules that come into uh, to play of the spearing and, and, and how the, 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 the sport is being refereed and, and managed that way. But also you have practices um, and what's happening in practices. So the, the Oversight Committee will continue looking at that for spring practice as well as uh, you know during the regular season how many contacts you know during the week you know for preparation for that Saturday contest so it's always going to be on the forefront you know the new helmet and you know, we've partnered up from the Big 12 conference with a helmet uh, company called Vices to start 
looking at it, it's, it's been rated as a very top quality helmet and that's the best for our student athletes. We want to take a look at that and just continue monitoring, you know, the health and well-being of that, Tony. All right, there he is, the chairman of the Football Oversight Committee and the Mountaineer Athletic Director, Shane Lyons. Appreciate the time. Thank you, Tony. Let's go Mountaineers. Uh -huh.